Hey guys, hi, hello, hey guys, what's up, hi. If you know who I am, hey guys, what's up, it's Daniela. If you don't know who I am, hi, my name is Daniela. I've been making mediocre videos on the internet for almost 10 years. That's crazy. I can't believe it's been almost a decade. If you're watching this the day that this video goes out, it is, today is a very special day for me. Why? Because the day this video goes out will be exactly one year since the start of my yoga journey. So today I wanted to kind of sit down and talk about how yoga has changed my life for the better and why I plan to continue doing it for as long as I can. And when I say as long as I can, I literally mean like I plan to continue doing it like when I get old and wrinkly and like I'm a grandma basically. Yoga is so healthy, it's such a healthy habit in so many ways and it's healthy for many more reasons other than just what I'm about to talk about. This is just one of the many reasons why it's, why yoga is such a good thing and I honestly think everyone should try yoga. I am uploading this video on the one year mark of the day that I started doing yoga every day. This wasn't like the very first time I'd ever done yoga in my life. I had I had done it like before, like occasionally, but this was the day that I like made a promise to myself to make it part of my daily life. One of the people who inspired me to get into yoga was my mom. Uh, my mom has been doing yoga for a very long time and my mom and I actually love to do yoga together now. Like we love to go to yoga classes together. It's now one of our favorite things to do together ever since I started getting into yoga as well. So at this time last year, my anxiety was at a very low point. Some of you guys probably know or, or you might not know. I haven't really talked about it much on this channel but I have mentioned it before. I was diagnosed with generalized anxiety disorder about a year and a half ago as of now. I'm still able to function. I was all like, it wasn't, it was never to the point where I absolutely could not function, even when it was really bad. But it was just getting to a point where it was frustrating to deal with. And basically what was happening to me was I was experiencing panic attacks about once a month uh, for a couple months, like three to four months last year. This was the beginning of last year. And it would be accompanied with nausea and getting sick, if you know what, if you know what I mean. Which is absolutely one of my least favorite things ever. I hate getting sick. I would classify myself as an emetophobic. I absolutely hate it. Like I can't even deal with like other people like near me getting sick. Like if, if someone's about to get sick, like I have to like leave the room. Like I just, I can't, I can't do it. And once a month was not a normal frequency for me to get sick. Like that was not normal for me. Like I was always the type of person that could easily go like a year or two without getting sick. Like that, like I, like it just never happened to me very often. And so when it started happening like every month, that was not normal. And that was a little concerning. Along with the nausea, like I was panicking and maybe the panic attack was a result of the nausea like I'm not really sure exactly how it worked but I feel like like I had a panic attack that was uh, accompanied with the nausea it was really bad and I like I, I hated it it was it was so frustrating like not only like frustrating and annoying but debilitating and like I knew that I had to figure out a way for this to not continue happening because this was not normal. When I first got diagnosed, I started taking anxiety medication, which I still take to this day. I started taking duloxetine. There was one night where I was experiencing another panic attack where I almost thought it was the medication that was making me experience this, which like was ironic in a way because the medication was supposed to help my anxiety. Now I don't think it was the medication, but at the time like I thought like that was a possibility. As of now, I don't think it was a medication because I do still take it and I have not experienced these monthly panic attacks ever since I started doing yoga. All I know was that this needed to stop. Like I did not want this to continue happening. One night, it was around midnight, it was a little past midnight actually, and this is exactly a year ago from when this video is being posted. So this, this is when the story like really starts. I was having another panic attack and needless to say it happened again, it was uh, the same thing. This was the second time by the way that month that I had experienced that. Um, 
I had had another panic attack, which was probably the worst out of all of them, about a week prior. They were happening like at the same time every month too. Uh, so like it, it was it, it was a little concerning. Um, and then like a week later, like it happened again. And this was the last time uh, it happened before I started yoga. Uh, so this was like the second time that month that I had a panic attack. Uh, the one the week prior, it was literally so bad. Probably literally the worst panic attack out of all of them. Cause I remember like my mom, like I, like my mom was in my room, like she was trying to calm me down. And it got to a point where like I was panicking and if you've ever had a panic attack before, like you know that there's no, like there, there doesn't have to be a specific reason uh, for the panic attack. And in this case, like there wasn't really a reason besides the fact that I felt sick, um, but I was just panicking so much. Like there was just something in my head that was telling me something really bad was gonna happen, even though like nothing really bad happened except for the fact that I did get sick. But like besides that, like, I mean, there was nothing like terrible going on, but it was just like the feeling, like you get a feeling in your head and like, and, and then you, and you can't stop thinking about it and it just kind of spirals. And that's what was happening to me. And my mom was like trying to calm me down. And like, I literally got to a point where I could not like be in my room alone. Not because I thought I was gonna hurt myself. I, I was not, I was not gonna hurt myself. Like, don't worry, it wasn't, it wasn't that bad. But like, I just, I just uh, didn't feel comfortable being alone with my thoughts. Like I needed my mom there. Uh, and I remember like I slept in my mom's office, which also doubles as our guest bedroom. Uh, so I slept, I slept in there and my mom like also slept in there with me because I, I, I could not like be alone. Like I, I just did not feel comfortable being alone with my thoughts. Like I don't know why, I just, I, I couldn't. <laughs> Uh, so then a week later was, I had, like, I had another panic attack, which was not as bad, but, uh, it was still a panic attack. <laughs> and this time, my mom was not able to, uh, like, stay up for me and, like, help me because she had, uh, something really important at work the next day. Uh, so I kind of had to be on my own. Uh, and so, like, I tried my best, but I, I couldn't, and... Uh, I, I got sick, which was not fun. So this was a little after midnight. Uh, that, I guess, was technically that same day because it was, it was past midnight. Um, uh, and I felt better, like, afterwards, like, it, yeah, I, I, I mean, I felt better. And then the, the, the next day was just, it was kind of a normal day, I guess. Like, I didn't get sick again during the day. It was just, like, I felt better, um, but... I still knew that I had to find some find some way to kind of cope with my anxiety or like find some way to kind of prevent this from happening again. And that is when I decided to start doing yoga. Um, so basically I, I decided that every night after dinner I was going to do yoga. And the reason I chose after dinner was because whenever I usually have my panic attacks, it usually like happened after dinner, um, and it, it kind of it kind of like started with me like feeling really full, and then it kind of manifested into nausea and panic attacks, and like and, and it just kind of spiraled. And I figured that if I started like trying to like calm myself down early on before like letting the feeling get worse maybe it would help, it would help like prevent, it would help prevent it from getting worse. Uh, but my plan was, I wasn't gonna only do it when I was like, when I felt a panic attack coming on, I decided like I was gonna do it every single day and kind of make, make it into a habit. So that way, um, that way it would just, it would be a habit and I could kind of maintain it. And like, it wasn't only like a tool for uh, mitigating a panic attack. It was just, it was like a tool for maintaining uh, my mental health and keeping it at a good level. Uh, so I decided um, to do yoga every day. So I searched up this channel called Yoga with Adrian. Um, she's a really popular yoga YouTuber. If you've ever done any sort of yoga on YouTube, you've probably come across her channel. I really recommend her channel. I do her videos every single day. 
and uh, her videos are amazing and easy to follow and she has yoga for literally everything. <laughs> and also she has a monthly playlist so like and and has a different one of her existing videos every day and, and anytime she drops a new video that's like the video of the day on the monthly playlist so you should really check her out she's amazing um and i i love doing her videos she has like so many subscribers she has like i think last time i checked 11 million subscribers but probably more than that now <laughs> um so yeah uh, so I searched up her channel. Uh, she was actually the channel that I came across a few months prior when uh, my mom told me to try doing yoga like during the during the horrible week that I was really sick all week. Uh, the video that I had tried to do that night was one of her videos. can't remember which one, but I know it was one of her videos. So I searched her channel and I did one of her videos. It was her most recent video. This was like before I realized she was doing like monthly playlists of like a different video every day. So my plan at this at like at this particular time was every day I was just I was gonna do the most recent video. So like I would like do the same video like every day until there was a new one. Uh, and then like a week later, um, I. Uh, it was actually the first of the month, so perfect timing. I found out that um, I found out about the the monthly playlist thing, so I started doing that for more variety. Um, but yeah, I started doing yoga. I didn't have a yoga mat yet at the time, but my mom bought me a yoga mat uh, a few days later. So like two days later, I think I had a yoga mat. So I started doing yoga, and it changed my life. Um, I, as of now, as of the time I'm filming this, uh, I have yet to get sick again since starting yoga, and this was almost a year ago. Uh, I'm filming this a few weeks in advance. Um, I am, so hopefully, hopefully I don't get sick in the literal three and a half weeks I have left. until my one year but um, it's been 11 months and four days as of now as of the time I'm recording this um, and I've yet to get sick since then which is amazing for me uh, considering what was happening like literally last year like I could not go more than a few months without getting sick it was horrible um, and now I feel like I'm getting back to normal for myself because before this was happening like I could literally go like over a year without getting sick like with no issues whatsoever and then my anxiety just got worse and then like I could not like I think the most I went without getting sick was like almost four months uh, which was like a record for me like in this uh, amount of time and now it's been 11 months so I have well surpassed that record and Hopefully I can make it to a year. Um, by the time this video goes out, hopefully it will be, hopefully like I, I don't break the streak <laughs> uh, by the time this video goes out. Um, yeah, and I, I really do think I can make it to a year. Like I really do think I can because I'm so close. Um, but not just that, yoga has really improved my mental health and like it's it's made me so much stronger both mentally and physically um and i i've never been like huge into working out like i've never been like someone who like goes to the gym a whole bunch it's just like never been my thing um and like i like i i'm not i'm like I I'm not like a bodybuilder like I'm not I wouldn't I wouldn't call myself like super strong like physically like I barely have like a two-pack like I like I don't have like I'm not close to like a six-pack or whatever I'm not like bodybuilder type of strong but I enjoy yoga and I feel like it's it's a nice like one thing that's really nice about it is that um it is like a workout technically but it's not a super like 
difficult, like hard workout that's like just difficult to endure. There are some yoga videos that I've done that are harder than others, but yoga in general is a more relaxed type of workout. So for people who are not super into like the bodybuilding, like the tough, like lifting weights type of stuff, yoga is like a really good way to work out that's more relaxed and it's not so much about like gaining muscle and, and stuff. It's more about like it's it's more it's more about just the the benefits like mental benefits physical benefits and just about and and it's it's about relaxing and having like a good brain mind body i don't i don't know what i'm saying but i hope you get my point um and yoga is amazing because it's not just for people who who want who want, are looking for like getting strong and, and stuff it's it's for anyone like anyone can do yoga and another thing that another thing that I've come to learn in this last year of doing yoga is I there is no such thing as cheating in yoga um, and I used to feel like if I was like not doing something properly that I was cheating like for example uh, <laughs> One of the things in yoga that I suck at, and I'm still not great at it to this day, is balancing. Balancing is so difficult, and there are times when I'll be doing a balancing pose and I have to like put my hands on a surface or something uh, because like it's uh, like I it, it's hard to like keep my balance, and it's hard to not feel like I'm cheating by doing that. But if you need to do that, like that's totally cool. There's no such thing as cheating in yoga. Uh, yoga is all about finding what feels good and uh, I'm not going to take credit for coming up with that quote that's actually uh, yoga with Adrienne's motto she always says find, find what feels good and it's so true like it, that's what yoga is all about finding what feels good if you have to like make something easier for yourself do it it's not cheating like you're still getting the benefits um, Yoga is not just about getting strong physically like that. I mean, that's part of it. Like you do get strong physically, but it's it's about finding what feels good and relaxing and doing it, doing it your way. So modifications are not cheating. There's absolutely no such thing as cheating in yoga. And that's something that I have come to learn. And that's one thing that makes yoga great is it's for anyone, even if you can't like, if, even if you haven't mastered a certain pose yet, that doesn't mean you're not cut out for yoga. Like, give, like, do all the modifications you can. Like, yoga is still, like, you're still, like, like you're still doing yoga. Like, the important thing is uh, taking the time and the motivation and, like, just taking the time out of your day to make an effort to practice yoga, even if you're not perfect at it. Like, that's the most important part, is uh, making an effort to do it. So that's another reason why I love yoga, because it's for anyone, and the yoga community like really emphasizes that. It's for anyone, no matter like your gender, your size, your religion, your skin color, like anything. Like, yoga is for everyone, and like, anyone can do it, and it's not it's like it's like yoga is inclusive like anyone can be part of the yoga community and I love that I love how inclusive it is um, so that's another reason why I plan to continue doing it because it's just the, like the mindset of it is so it's so inclusive of everyone no matter like whatever like no matter anything about about someone like you can do yoga like it's like congratulations like if you exist you're cut out for yoga congratulations <laughs> uh so yeah so that that's one thing that i that i wanted to kind of talk about and emphasize on um yeah so uh after a year of doing yoga every day i can now confidently say that my day is not complete without doing yoga <laughs> and i like, like I truly, like I'm actually like proud of myself for my uh, consistency with it, and um, and I think like, and I'm I'm not like saying that to like brag, like oh, like I'm consistent with yoga, like that means I'm better than you. 
I'm just saying, like, I'm pretty dang proud of myself, and I think we should celebrate, like, anything that we feel accomplished for. Like, I'm pretty dang proud of myself for keeping up with it every day. Um, like, I think yoga has been one of the most consistent things that I've kept up with. The last thing I would say before I end this video is, now, a year later, like, I have noticed, like, I'm, I'm in a much better place than I was a year ago, and, like, like, I feel happier, like, and it's not like I was depressed or anything, I was, I was just, I, like, I, I was just suffering from anxiety, but, like, I have noticed, like, a change mentally, and, like, it's really done so much good for me, so, anyways, I'm gonna end this video here, I'm sorry for, like, rambling so much, uh, I, Every time I like make a video, I'm, I tell myself like, okay, like I'm not gonna make this video super long. I'm not gonna make my editing job like so hard on myself, but then I end up talking for like half an hour or more and yeah, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you're open to trying yoga, if you're even like slightly interested in considering to try it, like I really suggest that you try it because like it might just change your life. So anyways, I'm going to end this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs up anyway because it helps the algorithm. I don't know if it actually does, but I'm just going to say that. So anyways, that is pretty much it. And I will see you guys, the subscribers and viewers, in my next video. Peace out, y'all. Woo!